Welcome to ETH Daily, a daily briefing on the latest in Ethereum. Flashbots introduces Suave, Uniswap approves a V3 deployment on ZK Sync, Ava Companies publishes an update on its Go stablecoin, and Zapper adds support for Arbitrum NFTs. All this and more from ETH Daily starts right now. MEV research organization Flashbots introduced Suave, an MEV-aware encrypted mempool for users and wallets. Suave stands for Single Unifying Auctions for Value Expression. The new software aims to decentralize power, maximize profits for users, and create a more robust, efficient, and geographically diverse MEV market. Suave will offer a decentralized block builder for rollups. It will also be open-source, cross-chain compatible, and EVM compatible. Flashbots has faced censorship challenges as more than 50% of Ethereum blocks are now being produced by validators running an OFAC-compliant version of MEV Boost. MEV Boost is a software that allows Ethereum validators to maximize profits by reordering transactions in a block. A specification for Suave is set to be released in the coming weeks. Uniswap Governance approved a proposal to deploy Uniswap v3 on ZK Sync, a ZK rollup-based Layer 2 network. The proposal received more than 72.4 million YE votes in favor of the integration. ZK Sync will mark Uniswap v3's 8th chain deployment. Uniswap v3 is already available on Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Celo. ZK Sync says it will take roughly 4 to 6 weeks to complete the Uniswap v3 deployment. ZK Sync 2.0, an EVM compatible version of the network, is scheduled to launch on mainnet on October 28th. The V3 deployment on ZK Sync will likely overtake ZigZag as the primary DEX on the network. The Ethereum Foundation JavaScript team released an early pre Shanghai testnet called Shangdong. The testnet is the first merge only testnet and activates five initial Shanghai considered EIPs. The release also includes an execution layer block explorer, a faucet, and an open RPC endpoint. It's also purely JavaScript based and runs a set of Loadstore and Ethereum JS client boot notes. Aave Companies published an update for its development of Go, a USD PEG stablecoin native to the protocol. The update includes an audit from Open Zeppelin and the first release of the Go technical paper. A total of 2 medium severity and 11 low severity issues were found in the audit. The first medium severity issue notes that Go could break its peg in the event that facilitators meant their max capacity, causing a supply shortage. The second medium severity issue notes that Go borrowers are required to pay interest payments in Go. However, Go can only be obtained by taking out new loans. The technical paper includes details on liquidation and repayments, interest accrual, stability mechanisms, and the price oracle. Staked Ave holders will also receive a 20% discount on the borrow interest rate. Aave protocol will be the initial facilitator for Go. A testnet deployment for the stablecoin will be made within the coming weeks. And lastly, Zapper integrated support for Arbitrum NFTs, allowing users to explore collections on the network. Users can sort by floor price, trending collections, top sales, trades, and market cap. Small Brains is currently the number one collection on Arbitrum, with a total of $72 million in all-time volume on the network. Zapper is a DeFi dashboard and analytics tool for tracking activity across EVM chains. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories from ETH Daily. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on Twitter at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.substack.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.